Hey guys, so the Sony PlayStation TGS conference was just on a couple of hours ago and as usual I'm just gonna go and review the conference as I did with the E3 and Gamescom conferences. Before I start, let me know what you guys think of the conference in the comments below. I'd love to read and reply and talk to you about it. I had to watch this actually at uni because it was actually on an appropriate time for me, which yeah, <laughs> I just kind of skipped my lecture and because I forgot my headphones. Um, so I just sort of sat there with all these random people being like, what the hell is she watching? So. I don't know as much about Japanese games as probably some people on YouTube around the like, so go check out other people's videos. But I do like a lot of them, so I'm just going to go over some things which I was interested in that I liked at the conference. But I'm like really impressed actually of their showing. These conferences aren't as big as like E3 or Gamescom, but they pretty much did bring out a lot of these Japanese focused games and there was a ton of games. And there was actually a lot of Vita focus. The Japanese market is where it's at for Vita and they showed that. Uh, so yeah, let's go with some of the announcements. Probably the biggest announcement, I'm pretty sure it was trending worldwide on Twitter. Um, Persona 5, which was previously announced for the PlayStation 3, is now also coming to the PlayStation 4, which is exciting for a lot of people that were like keeping their PlayStation 3 around just so they could play that. Now you can actually decide that you want to put it away. And they just had a cool trailer with that with this guy with glasses. I really enjoyed Persona 4 on Vita, so I'm happy that this is coming to more platforms than just PlayStation 3. Next up, PlayStation Vita and PS4 got announced that they could have custom themes with new firmware. These were both missing from these consoles because both the PSP and the PS3 could have custom themes. So that's now coming. Uh, Bloodborne got a release date, which is February 5th in Japan. But I assume the worldwide release date is going to be similarly around that time. I'm actually really happy with like the turnaround. Like they announced this at E3 and the game's coming out in February. Usually games like are announced and they come out like two years later. So this one, like they just went, boom, it's announced. Oh, it's going to be ready in February. So well done to Sony for that. Kojima came on stage and talked about how successful the PT demo was. Uh, I made a video a bit back, go check it out if you haven't already, about how the marketing of PT was done perfectly and they kind of said that they said PT was downloaded over 1 million times and that's for a demo and they said that they were really happy that people emphasize the share function and as I talked about like it pretty much went viral which is excellent for you know this game's marketing team so I'm happy that they addressed that that you know they that came up in the conference because it's a pretty cool thing and I don't think they expected it to go like to grow that big. So next from the Tekken team, they are working on a Project Morpheus game, but all they showed was this weird schoolgirl thing. Like I was like, are you playing as a schoolgirl or what? Like I've been a schoolgirl most of my life. I am not looking forward to returning to that in Project Morpheus. Um, I'm looking for other games than that. Hopefully the Tekken team are actually doing something cool and it's not some school learning game, but hey, someone's gonna like that anyway. So if they're doing that, good for them. Resident Evil Revelations 2 was announced. Revelations was uh, pretty much a success I think they announced for them and I'm pretty sure across the board that got quite good reception. Last Resident Evil I played was Resident Evil 5. Uh, they said that Revelations 2 was going to have new characters so I'm going to keep an eye on that for the future to see if I want to pick it up or not. They announced a pink and white Vita which is really cute. Oh it's going to be tempting uh, to try not to buy one of those. They also said to attract some more female audiences, uh, um, they were doing some Japanese dating sims thing, which I mean, it's not for me, but to some people that's a big deal for a game, so good for them for announcing that. Hot Shots Golf 2 was announced, or whatever it's called in Japan. I really do like how the Japanese <laughs> like golf games. Uh, we got Hot Shots, we have like Mario Golf, and they do the arcadey golf style really well, not like Tiger Woods or whatnot, so. Um, yeah, I quite liked Hot Shots, so Hot Shots Golf 2, sick. And then there was like a stack more games which was also released, which I am not as much into it. There was Disgaea 5 for PS4. I really love strategy games, but I don't know why I've never like really gotten into Disgaea. Maybe I might check it out sometime again, but who knows. We got another Yeast game for PS4 and Vita. Uh, we got Dragon Quest Heroes was announced and Yakuza 
zero or something along that. They said that was set in like 1980 something, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. All I heard from the translation was there's going to be black garbage bags. So, so, you know, if black garbage bags are your thing, go check out that game. Yeah, that was pretty much it for this conference. As I said, there was more games announced, but I missed the first part of the conference. Thank you for listening to me talk, everybody. As I said before, let me know in the comments below what you guys have thought of this conference and what else Sony's going to bring to actual TGS. That's actually in a couple of weeks. I sort of forgot that this was going to be on today because I was like, isn't it supposed to be when TGS is actually on? But no. Hopefully we also get some cool announcements at TGS, like some things to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy and possibly The Last Guardian, though I doubt it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for listening and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Bye.